We're going to be doing a shootout on Strat saddles. Yeah. We've got a modern style Fender block saddle. Mm. Same thing, but in brass. That's actually off the Strat from the 80s. Brass. And then this one is one of the Fender vintage style ones. It's not off a of vintage mm. pre CBS or anything like that, but it's one of their vintage reissue style ones and uh, stamped fender on it yeah and then on here we've got a fancy pants expensive callaham rolled steel one which mm. is yours isn't it i'm afraid it is because yeah. you fell for that you went buying for them so we're going to see if you wasted your money i your... probably wasted my money and my time yeah. i don't think you wasted your money but so how we're doing Let's the see. shootout we've just got e strings that aren't very well tuned i'll sort that out in a second all tens all tuned to E flat and this is quite a flat uh, pickup as in all the pedal pieces kind of just about match the fingerboard radius rather than the vintage stagger so uh, we've set the intonation so they're all straight they're all about the same because you don't have to make up for the different things uh, string gauges mm. obviously like you would yeah. do normally and um what we'll do we'll we'll play them and you can hear one after another what they sound like <laughs> it's like a bazooki now isn't it this guitar is is not your normal stratocaster not really um what have you got a granite pick guard that yeah. you've made for it? Yeah, yeah, and I've put wood screws in. They make a big difference to the tone. Fucking hell, it? it depends yep. what jar you got them out of. Though. Yeah, yeah, it does. What tone you get with them. <laughs> so uh, this was this kind of disgusting colour here. I Some love people that like colour. that. Yeah. Some people but love they, that colour. They've got they? bad taste, the sort of people that <laughs> like that colour. I like it, but I don't love it. So I thought I'd sand it off and repaint it. And as soon as I started sanding, I revealed this yellow color. And I thought, oh, that's quite nice. It's not too bad. That's under the blue. That's under the blue. Oh. And then I went a bit deep and I got through to this black. And this black's really thick. You can feel it there. Feel that dip there. Is this a Mexican body? No, this is full USA. You are joking. Nope. What year is it from? 2006 anniversary year or whatever you, and it's got that much paint on it <laughs> it had that oh much paint God. on it you can feel how, feel how thick it is there steve bloody hell wow that's incredible and then under that friday was, afternoon guitar that, mate. yeah yeah you know and it's got the uh, tremolo block the uh, normal american standard one bolted through the granite so when you play the strings you're also resonating this piece of granite too and the other variables are making more of a difference than the saddles aren't they yeah yeah do you agree with that yeah i do so we've had some trouble with chasing out variables haven't yes. we yes. the uh, pole pieces in relation to the string position the nut uh slots being too big by the where the low E would normally be. So we've put the capo on. We've also raised the action to take fret buzz out of it a bit more and um, position the strings better. But uh, here's it acoustically again. This is, I'll start with the block style fender. Brass. Vintage style fender. Callaham. Yeah, there's a big difference on the Callaham. Mm. That's from the Callaham to the brass. Now I'm going to try picking them lightly. Block style. Brass. Vintage Fender. Callaham. The Fender vintage style is always so. Um... 
Now going to the uh, Callaham. It's rounder, isn't it? Yeah. No. And a little bit Oops. more solid attack. It's solid. Right, now playing with dynamics, going quiet then loud. So that was the normal block, now the brass. That was had a bigger range. Yeah. The brass than the, the standard block. So I'll go from the brass to the vintage style fender. Yeah, we're all top, but still as much dynamic range. Yeah. And now uh, the Callaham. It's more it's range. There's more of a, well. a piano kind of plonk when you hit the string. Yes, there is. Okay. It's way more piano like the Callaham. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now that that's with the pick. Now see with my fingers. I prefer that, that was the brass. I prefer the brass with my fingers. That's the brass. Right. Now the Callaham. I'm going to do brass with my finger and then Callahan with my finger. I think the brass on your finger sounds much warmer. Mm. Yeah. Ah, but so does this, the, the block one. So for your fingers, the block style ones, yeah. the, whether brass or modern Fender seem to sound warmer. Yeah. Mm. The harmonics are better on the two blocks. Yeah, it seems to be. It's a massive difference. And the problem is, I think, with testing anything like this, is that you, you're trying to do one note at a time, you're not playing how you'd normally play, mm. um, and trying to hear differences one component makes is always really hard. Mm. But down the chain, all these differences add up to make a guitar what it is. Mm. Can, I don't I, know. can I try it now? It's been... Do. It's been perfected. That's bra The Callahan one's kind of sparklier. At yes. the top end. If right you listen at the top. to the right at the top, mm. it is sparklier. I was gonna say purer. But it is, it's more piano-like. You explained it as piano-like. About the bit. But I do like the vintage Fender one because of the openness to it. Yeah. And the slightly sort of trebly. Yeah. That's solid, isn't it? The Callahan's one's more solid. Do you think? Is That's that what, what we mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the Fender one's more open, a little bit more trebly. Mm. Are these two? different again. Huh? That's probably the deadest out of them all, do you think? Yeah, yeah. I'd say it was. Yeah, the, the word modern Fender block. The brass that's, one. Yeah. The brass one's it. definitely alive, but it's not as trebly as the vintage Fender one. Mm. <laughs> Fucking, yeah, uh, so which would it. you have? I tend to go with the Fen the, the vintage Fender one. Right. Yeah. The, the, the Callahan. Callahan. 
and I'd possibly try the brass one as well, depending <laughs> on what, what guitar it was. So it makes a difference. Yeah. Quite a lot of difference. I love the brass myself. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to the brass. Uh, so Callahan do the off centered screw. They do. Uh, I don't know who else does the off centered screw. I think it's maybe just Callahan. Okay. So it's limited the for is. choice. They're, well, Callahan will do either, won't they, for you? They'll do either, but I don't think um, other makes do the off centered screw. I think everybody's least favourite yeah. consistently was the new block style block Fender. Style, which I've used for years and years, and years <laughs> yeah. and not really thought much about it. Your old guitar had that on, didn't it? Didn't That's it? got oh, no, them. No. Yeah. That's got them. In fact, I got realised I've got the three guitars with different saddles as well. You have, haven't you? And yeah. pickups. But you know, I, bizarre. Yeah. I mean, thinking though, really, I think that you could put the same bri uh, the saddles on three different guitars and obviously they'd all sound different because of the other factors in the <laughs> yeah, guitars. It's it. a minefield of fucking pain. So, but I think the way to do it <laughs> is not to go, this one's better or worse, just that this yeah. will take you slightly more in this direction or that direction. Mm. And if you've got a guitar that's sounding too like this, this is one of the options to tweak that. Yeah. Mm in the right direction yeah 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 so, coaxing okay. things it's about massaging things into places into it? the right Let's direction have a scenario then you've got a guitar and it sounds a little bit anemic and thin so you think right what kind of saddle can i put on to beef it up and make it sound a little bit more like you said musical yeah. what would you put on well Callan? well yes yeah. or a brass if you play or with your fingers oh because the Callahan sounds a lot thinner than the brass when you play with fingers. your fingers. Okay, you've got a big, you've got a strat and it sounds a bit dark and a bit round. What would you put on then? Vintage Fender? Vintage Fender. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to have a sparkle to it. Yeah. Do you think the Vintage Fender is similar to the Block Fender in any way? No. No. <laughs> Well, they're all Seem similar. Seemingly not, no. Mm. But they, they aren't, they are, that one is the most different, the, the block style. Yeah. Then the other thing is, if you've got a guitar that's too dynamic okay. and too bright and, you know, there's too much, there's not enough natural compression in the guitar that for you and your playing style, which mm. that, there's never too much of that for me. <laughs> but, they, um, mm. but if you want that, go for the block style because that'll even things out with your picking technique yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah. It's a bit like having a compressor on the guitar, having that on. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.